Hey everyone, this is Matt again. Well, I'm coming at you with deck matchup number five of the day. We have Eldritch against Dogmatica Invoked Branded Despia. Ooh, that's now that's a mouthful. So I I shortened that to Dibd. Uh, I don't know if like Bid would be Branded Invoked Dogmatica Despia. Bid B I D D. I don't know if there's an official name or acronym for this deck. Comment down below because I'm curious what it is. I just call it, I say it here is dibbed, but maybe a bid is probably the the better way to call it. So so uh, yeah, in my in my uh, video like uh, YouTube uh, video uh, title, it's gonna say uh, dib, but I have it dibbed here. All right, game one. So he goes first. Terraforming to meltdown. You love to see it. Here comes the Alistair. Alistair's going to drop Invocation. Uh, and then he branded opening. So I was surprised to see this, right? I thought it was just an Invoke Dogmatica deck. But yeah, branded opening will get his Aluber. Aluber will get his uh, uh, branded Fusion. Invocation will make Mechaba. By the way, Mechaba is protected from uh, branded opening. So there's that. And then Nadir will get him, uh, will send the Albion and get him Ecclesia. And then Ecclesia is going to obviously be his normal summon. Or actually, special summon. Grab Fleur de Lee. So he has a pretty good, and he gets branded in red. He has a very, very good um, opening, right? So what am I going to draw? I'm going to go ahead and, s I'm just going to set five here. Like if he wants to brand it in red, pop my field, uh, you know, he'll have to. Hit the red once. He does brand it in red. He does get the uh, tragedy here, and he's gonna try to pop my field. Chimera is gonna pop uh, both my conquistadors, which is hilarious. Sometimes, you know, you get unlucky and they pop your good trap. Sometimes, when you're a lich, you get lucky and they pop these traps. <laughs> yeah, these are all gonna recycle, but. Uh, uh, am I even going to survive to my turn? Look at this field that I have to deal with. I have a trap trick, goes and match, and skill drain. So, what did he search there? I think he searched branded banishment, which is a busted card. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and grab an elixir. So I'm going to goes and match, which will force him to choose between his dark monsters and his light monsters. So he attempts to chain Mechaba, and I'm going to go ahead and chain uh, skill drain to that. So he actually keeps his light monsters. I don't know why. Um, it, it wouldn't matter. Like I was ready to play around him keeping light or his dark monsters. He d he decides to opt for light monsters. I suppose he wants to make more mecha buzz or something. I don't know. So he's gonna Florida Lee. Oh, he wanted to Florida Lee for some reason. I don't know. He wanted to Florida Lee. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get El Eldritch here. And uh, I the Ice Dragon is gonna pop Eldritch right, but I'm gonna grab uh, another um. Elixir here. So trap trick into punishment. And punishment is gonna take out this uh, brand branded opening. But it gets Entis, which will pop his back row, which is branded banishment. So this is a card that came out of Dimension Force. This is broken. It says target a Despian monster, level eight, higher fusion monster in the graveyard special summon. Then you can fusion summon from either field. By banishing the material, so this card is nuts. Uh, if I if I don't deal with it, it's he's gonna use it to banish my Eldritch. So, yeah, punish. That's why I I search into punishment. I draw Curse Eldland, which is hilarious, and then he's just gonna scoop. Uh, I guess scooping makes sense because like, what the hell is he gonna do? Like, I'm gonna search Waquero. I'm gonna Eldritch send this guy right. I'm gonna revive Eldritch. Swing for her 35. Like. He doesn't really have many resources left, so yeah, he just decides to scoop, like, and, I, and then I can still recur more Eldritches, and yeah, it, it, there's, <laughs> he knows how screwed he is, like, he has Goza Match and Skill Drain to deal with, like, he just, he doesn't have an out. Banish Banishment is done, uh, his tragedy's already been banished, like, he's completely done. So, that was game one. Let's go into game two. Game two is even more interesting, and you'll see why in a bit, so, dibbed, or bid, game two. So I 2 0 this guy, obviously. Let's see what we get. So we open. Great opening. Solemn Judgment is always good to protect from back row clear. Witch's Strike is hilarious against uh, Mechaba. So normally you don't side in Witch's Strike against Branded Despia because they don't negate. But 
because this guy is clearly running the Invoke Package and Turbo Mechaba, you want your Witch's Strike. So that's why I put it in here. But yeah, very solid opening hand. Uh, he actually lets me go first. So he makes me go first. I'm going to go ahead and uh, Lord, and I'm going to set four here. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. He's going to draw. He's going to Aluber into Branded Fusion into Rebellion into... So, why do I punish me here? The reason I punish him is because I know he's going to make Mirror Jade, right? I think I want to take out his Lubelion and also uh, have Entis ready to pop the fusion that comes out. So, he's going to fuse into Titanoclad and Entis is going to go ahead and pop Titanoclad. So, yeah, I don't know why I did that, honestly. I, I forget what I was thinking at the time, but... I feel like if he was going to get Mirror Jade, oh, I know why, because if he Mirror Jades, I can't punish him his Mirror Jade uh, with Entis. I had to punish him at Luber, but then he, if I target a Luber, he chains Mirror Jade, remove, gets a Luber off the field, and then uh, punishment fizzles, and I do not get to pop two. Here, I got I got to pop one at the very least, so yeah, I think that was why. So I'm going to go ahead and comp, defend this. Titanoclad is going to get Ecclesia, Ecclesia is going to get punishment. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to set, I'm going to use Lord. I'm going to set Psalm Strike. He's going to get his Alistair. Alright, so now that I, Mechaba is coming and I have a Witch's Strike ready for this motherfucker. So he vanishes Intis. He makes Mechaba. Recycles that. So he attacks there. Attack. So I'm letting him attack me, right? I could have solemn struck his Alistair. I could have done some stuff, but I wanted him to attack me. I know this set card is punishment. So I'm going to use Lord. And I'm going to set my punishment. And Konka is going to grab Elixir. Okay. Now check this out. So his turn is going to be hilarious. He draws a card. He does not have branded opening in his graveyard. Draw face. I'm going to punishment his Mechaba. He must chain. If he doesn't, he loses it. He chain negates discarding imperm. On a new chain, I witch a strike. Now, this is hilarious because he's gonna chain uh, branded banishment. I don't know why he does that. But what I should have, well, actually, there's no way for me to do this. Yeah, so he's gonna chain tr branded banishment. He's gonna make. I guess he wants to fuse or something. But uh, yeah. <laughs> Witch's Strike, baby. Still good. Still in the game. And he it pops every card he has except for his set. Why did his set card not get passed? Because if you read Lord of the Heavenly Prison, it says set cards on the field. It doesn't say which field. So Lord actually protects the set card. But I know this is punishment. But it doesn't matter because I'm going to summon Lord. Uh, so he, that's, uh, Tragedy does get him a Luber. A Luber does try to search, but I am going to Psalm Strike that. And then I'm going to summon this in defense position and grab uh, uh, Extravagance. I'm going to grab this. By the way, this is uh, oh, this is an end phase. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and activate Extrav. Draw two. Yo, yo, this game is 100% over. It doesn't matter if he, punish if he punishments. He, you know, he will lock himself out of his extra deck. So, <laughs> I don't think he wants to do that. Uh, so, he's just going to scoop. Like, I have so much card advantage over him. Like, let's say, you know, what I was going to do was I was going to force punishment. So, the reason, way I would do that is I would Eldritch. Uh, what would I do? Eldritch San Cuero. So, I, I'm not locked out of the extra deck because um, when I did punishment last turn, I, it got negated by Mechaba. So I can do a rank 10 play, right? So actually, yeah, all I have to do is a rank 10 play. And if he ju and if he punishments, yeah, 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 I remember. I, I, I remember noticing I did not banish my rank 10s. So rank 10, go into uh, Rail Cannon. If he, fl uh, if he flips punishment, I flip judgment. And then he's his field is completely open. Uh, Gustav Max discard, uh, detaches Eldritch, burn for 2k. Rank up into this, detach... Lord, uh, become 6k attack, swing for game. Yeah, so this guy just scooped. I mean, I had such advantage over him. Like, he had nothing. Uh, his follow-up next turn would have been 
Tragedy banishes itself to grab Branded Fusion. That's it. And it's like, well, I mean, he's not surviving this turn. Like, he sees I have a, I have the rank 10 play. Uh, and I don't know. I, I guess, like, he, he just, he just, I mean, he could have played it out, but there, there was no path where he would have won here because I have Judgment. So, yeah. Uh, so, uh, Eldritch. So, I, I, I like the idea of combining Evoked with Branded. It makes sense, right? You have Branded opening to protect your shit. Like, you have Alistair, like, Invocation, confuse your stuff, right? Instead of having the Fright for package, you have the Invo... It makes sense to me, right? Um, but, nonetheless, just like we beat Branded Despia, we also beat this Dogmatica Invoke Branded Despia, or... Uh, let's see, Dib would be Dogmatica... Wait, no, it's Did. It was Bid, Bid. So Bid would be Branded Invoked Dogmatica Despia. Uh, yeah, so... Alright, uh, so that was the game. Um, hope y'all enjoyed and yeah, we'll see how many more matchups I have saved up and uh, queued up in my replays here. And let's see how many I can put out today. Like, like I know uh, there's been kind of a dry spell where I haven't been putting out too many videos recently. But I'm just like, I, I've been busy with life. But I'm just like dumping all my videos at once if I can. And just getting it all out there to, so you guys have content, right? Alright, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. And hope you learned something. Peace.